Groundbreaking research is happening at the University of Victoria, and it could save millions of lives. Scientists are tracking the evolution of the influenza virus in hopes of getting one step ahead of it and developing a vaccine that could ward off a worldwide pandemic. CTV's Stephen Andrew reports. This researcher at the University of Victoria is working against time. He is on a quest to find the next defense against an outbreak of influenza. The drugs that are on the market right now have been out there for a decade and we're starting to see more and more and more resistance problems emerging. Scientists believe the virus will mutate to such a point that in the next 10 years, strains such as swine flu or avian flu could kill millions of people. The 1918 influenza outbreak uh, killed around 50 million people, uh, which given that there were only about 2 billion people uh, on the planet at the time is around 3% of the, the human population. It's not impossible that that uh, might happen again. And this is the enzyme that scientists are trying to block by creating a molecule that will fit inside this pocket. Once they've done that, it will prevent the enzyme from reproducing. Wolf is one of 20 researchers working on a number of life-changing projects at the University of Victoria. The Vancouver Island-born researcher returned home after studying at the University of Calgary and Harvard. He says part of UVic's attraction is its growing reputation on the world stage. The world has historically seen us as more of a teaching institution than a research institution, but that's changing now. We're becoming a much more research-focused university than we used to be. That reputation is also attracting more graduate students to assist with research projects. Professor Wolf is also working to replicate a molecule that could one day prevent HIV from reproducing. Our influenza project is the one that's closest to maybe making some molecules that might be useful to someone uh, in the, the medium term, let's say. Not bad for a kid from the Comox Valley who grew up playing with plastic models, unaware that one day it would lead to ideas that could save the world or at least protect it. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Saanich.